The Digital Experience Center differs from the Network Operations Center in the sense that the Network Operations Center focused uh, on the infrastructure. The DEC, on the other hand, the key focus is around the customer and the customer experience. Simple metrics like are the customers frustrated, tolerating or satisfied? And if, if, they're, if they're frustrated, then why? what part of that digital journey, what part of that experience is actually causing them to be frustrated, and then what part of the IT delivery chain, of the digital experience delivery chain, causing that, that outage. So IT has got the context to communicate, the business has got the context, and now you've got a center that allows that collaboration, but with the customer right at the center, as opposed to the infrastructure being the center. If you look at a, an online shopping experience, someone looking at a transaction across a uh, multiple step journey, being able to identify at what point in that journey a customer is frustrated, being able to take actions on it. For instance, we've got a, a bank here in, in our APAC region using that data to proactively communicate with customers that had failed transactions and giving them a call saying, we've seen your transaction, we understand that your transaction failed at this point, we're onto it, or this is what we can help, or here's a voucher that we can use to help you. Dynatrace is the only organization that works across the life cycle of the application, all the way from development to testing to production and the business. So with that comes a, a great way to communicate because then you have shared metrics. The problem when you have different teams that are using different tools is you've got different metrics and you can't communicate those metrics between the teams. So when you've got a platform that supports a unified view of the metrics across the lifecycle, that makes collaboration a lot easier.